Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on Python programming. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the basics of Python. Hi everyone. I'm Rucha Gorwalkar. In this video series, you are going to learn all about Python. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the basics of Python, the installation process required for the Python software and the print function used to display the output on the screen. So let's get started. Oh, don't worry. This is not the Python that you are going to learn about. You are going to learn about Python, which is one of the fastest growing programming languages. Python is a general purpose high level programming language created by Vido Van Rossum. Python can be used on any platform and it is an interpreted language. Now, why is Python so popular? That's because Python has many applications. It can be used to develop games and robots. It can also be used to develop AI applications, perform scientific computations, and for many, many other different applications. Let's first understand what is input and output in a simple way. Hey, do you like noodles? Have you ever tried making it on your own? The recipe that you need to follow for making the noodles is a set of instructions on what to do, how to do, and when to do it. The set of instructions uses ingredients which act as inputs. In this case, the uncooked noodles along with vegetables and taste maker are the inputs which are put into the vessel containing boiling water. Now the boiling is nothing but the processing of our input. After the processing is done, your delicious noodles are ready, which is nothing but our output. A computer also works in similar manner. In order to get work done from the computer, we enter a raw data as input to the computer. Then computer operates on this data or processes this data in order to give us the desired result, which is nothing but our output. Computer is given instructions to perform a particular task using different programming languages. Few of the popular examples of programming languages are Python, C, C++, Java, and so on. Now computers follow a set of instructions to perform a particular task. This is nothing but a program. So basically a program is a sequence of instructions that specifies how to perform a computation. Python is one of the fastest growing programming languages and was created by Guido Van Rossum. Python can be used on any platform and is an interpreted language. It has a simple syntax, so it is easy to learn. But one important thing to remember is that Python is a case sensitive language. Now, why is Python so popular? That's because Python has many applications. It can be used to develop games and robots. It can also be used to develop AI applications, perform scientific computations, and for many other different applications. Python is a high level programming language that uses alphabets, numbers, and special symbols for coding. It is very user friendly and is an interactive type of language. Now in order to execute Python program, we require Python IDLE, which is nothing but integrated development and learning environment for Python. Now I'm going to walk you through the installation process of Python. Search Python on Google. Click on www.python.org and go to downloads. 
Now click on Python version 3.9.0. This is the latest version that you can download. In this video series, I am going to use Python version 3.8.5. You can download the latest version as the installation process for all the versions remains same. Once the executable file is downloaded, all you have to do is just run it. So click on it. Now click on install now and the software will get installed in your computer. Now the setup is complete so we can start programming. Click on close. Go to start and type IDLE. Now select the IDLE. This is the IDLE window. The bar when you, where you can see Python 3.8.5 shell is the title bar where you can see the application name and the file name. The bar below it is the menu bar where you get the options such as file, edit, debug, help which we'll be using during the programming. The file menu bar has options of new file to open a file then to save the file and exit application. The three arrows is the Python command prompt where we will be writing the Python commands. This bar is the status bar where you can see the position of the cursor during programming. Now programming in Python can be done in two modes. One is the interactive mode and the other is the script mode. In this video, I am going to show you how to program in the interactive mode. Now let's begin programming. Let's try a few commands. 3 plus 8 and press enter. Can you see the addition has been performed by Python and the result is shown instantaneously. In the interactive mode. Now let's try 9 minus 5. Enter. So this shows that Python can be used as a calculator which can perform addition and subtraction operations for us. Now let's see can Python perform division and multiplication op operations as well. Let's try out 10 divided by 2. Yes, it is giving me the result as 5. Again, I can try 5 into 2. And it has given me the result 10. So this is how you write commands next to the command prompt and press enter. These commands are converted using the interpreter. Now let's see how the interpreter works. The interpreter takes the commands and converts it into a machine language in order to process it. After the processing is done, the machine language is taken by the interpreter and this machine language is converted into human readable form, which is nothing but our output. On Windows machine, the Python installation usually happens in the C drive of the computer or laptop. You can change the location when you are running the installer. Interactive mode in Python is advantageous when we want to test codes and see the results or check the errors immediately. Because in interactive mode, we type the commands one at a time and get the results immediately. In the Python IDLE, you can press Alt plus P 
keys on the keyboard to repeat the previous commands. So in this video, we learned about the basics of Python, the installation process of the Python software, and the use of interactive mode and print function in Python. Thank you.